What is up everyone, this is MoGaming here and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PC to be able to play games on Steam or emulators, whatever you want. So I'm going to basically show you from Steam because this is like literally one of the best places where you can see it from. So if you have your a PlayStation 5 controller, a USB-C cable, and a PC obviously, that's all you need. <laughs> that's literally all you need. What you want to do is you want to take your controller plug it the USB-C into your controller and plug the other end of the wire into essentially the, the the PC. Once you do that, you'll see your controller will actually link into Steam and you can either, depending on whatever you have, if it's a PlayStation 5 controller, you could just straight up press the PlayStation button and you'll even see a change like how it looks like. It actually changes the whole dynamic of how the whole thing interacts. So you can actually see I'm moving. Well, I, I think the touchpad works in some places. But you can see I'm like literally moving it around. I can go to the store, I can go to the web. And again, it's all for my control. I'm not touching the keyboard or anything. You just literally need to have it connected with the USB CB cable. You can do it with Bluetooth also. I've had issues and lags with that, but literally just having a USB CB cable connected there. So you can see there's like you have I have four games installed. I can play, well, I don't really have any other games. Uh but these are the two specific games that I have right now. I think they're both B VR games. But in general, I could just go to the store, get a free game, play it. You can play any type of game you want. Uh, it could be Fortnite. It could be Call of Duty. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can play games. Again, uh, it could be emulators. It could be games like Genshin Impact. I have it downloaded directly to my PC. I can just turn it on and play. You just literally put it in and then put it into your PC and it actually on the bottom right side It'll tell you like we're installing a new device and now the install device is ready to be played or used That's all you have to do. It's extremely simple now Once you do those you should be good to go now If you always wanted to like kind of like play around with the settings of your controller same place You can just press PS and get in here if you don't even know how to get to the screen uh, I'm going to actually exit this picture. So once you exit this, the other place where you can go is you want to go to Steam, you want to go into settings, and you want to click into controller. In here, you'll see something called general controller settings. So this is where you'll kind of pop up and you'll see like, all right, you're connected with the PlayStation 5, you can identify, you can calibrate it, you can change the preferences, you can change obviously the color of the controller's light from here. Uh, I think I can make it like any color I want. I think I can like, like I can just submit it. Um, nah, that's not doing it right now. But you are able to like, kind of like play around and change. You basically realize like do what you want. You can shut it down. You can ch again. You can change it to other specifications also. As you can see, there's a guide button focus is Steam. But you have these different ones. There's generic. There's a Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, etc. Like you can do all these different things directly from here. You don't have to go crazy and do it from uh, other places. <laughs> so like I said, it's a cool way to do it. You can easily set up your P uh, controller over here directly to your PC. And yeah, that's basically it. You're good to go. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, I'm going to be out. Peace.